Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is my attempt at getting my life back together. Basically, every year we get into a lot of habits. Some of those habits are good while some of them are not good. For me, most of the habits that I got into in 2020 and 2021 were not that good. For example, I had the hardest time waking up early. Like I just, I just couldn't. I deprioritized my studying. Yeah, that wasn't good. Also, I was really lazy. Like, I think I was the laziest self I've ever been. I posted very consistently in the first six months of 2021. But the later half of the year, I wasn't consistent. And in the last two, three months, I literally stopped posting. Like, I didn't post anything. January 2022, on the other hand, has been a lot better for me. I have gotten into a lot better habits like I restarted consistent posting on YouTube and Instagram and I am really proud of myself for that. Also I have started to bake again which is something I really love. So basically the goal of this video and this year is to continue the habits that are good for me and discontinue the habits which are not. So to start off I made a list actually three lists which are habits to continue habits to discontinue and new habits or habits to get back at and then to actually start working on it i made a to-do list and added a few things out of the three lists i made obviously i did not add every habit because you cannot do everything in just one or two days you have to work on it over time so yeah so basically the main goal is to complete this to-do list and actually start working on getting my life back together. The first thing I did was clean my room. I also cleaned my closet a few weeks ago. I did it with the help of my mom but I didn't shoot it. Then I organized my drawers because it was so messy I couldn't find anything. The next step was to bath and skincare. I actually did my skincare after almost 3 months and it felt really good. next step is to get a fresh haircut. Now a haircut can either make you feel really good or really bad. You know if the haircut doesn't go how you wanted it to be. But I think I really needed this haircut and I really liked it. The next step is to take medicines which is something I really avoid but I know I should be more consistent with it. Since the start of 2022, I have been spending a lot of time with my family, which is the next step. And honestly, I have been really enjoying that. Ever since I was young, I really enjoyed reading books. But over time, I lost the habit. And also, I don't get enough sunlight nowadays. So I thought I would do it together, you know, sit in the sun and read a book. As I said, I was really inconsistent with my dancing and posting. So I'm really trying to be consistent now.
The next step was to complete assignments. The last thing on the to-do list is to journal. Well, initially I started to journal only because it looked aesthetic, but now I have been journaling for almost 7 to 8 months and I can say that it really has helped me. I even gifted a gratitude journal to my mom on her birthday because I know for a fact that it will help her. I did it. I completed the list. It honestly took me longer than I thought it would but I did it and I am proud of myself for that. The main aim is to follow this throughout the year and not just one day. That's how you can get your life together.